Uh, we're here at the Wagon Way, Scotland's earliest railway. We're very much at just taken off the, the top metre at the moment and we will be hopefully by tomorrow down onto 18th century wagonway surface which consists of a cobbled horse track and uh, wooden rails. The primary thing we're hoping to find is the, the structure of the wagonway itself. As I said, we've got a cobbled horse track, wooden rails either side, but underlying the horse track should be wooden sleepers as well. And hopefully we'll find some evidence of the people that worked here as well. Uh, last time we were in here, we got a lot of clay pipe and things like that. So um, we're hoping for some good things. Yeah, so it's been, a, it's been a really exciting day. We've, um, it's our first day getting down into the wagonway itself. Uh, what we have is what we expected to find here. We've got this early cobbled uh, horse track with rail slots running either side. We also have, um, which we didn't expect to find, uh, a, a subsequent rebuild of the wooden wagonway running over the top. So we've got these um, sleeper trenches cut through the earlier structure. And even in some of those sleeper trenches, we've got the imprint of the, of the rough wooden beams. So we even had bark on the outside, which we can see in the imprint in the soil. So we've now got two phases of wagonway. Excitingly, also, we've got remnants of the iron railway coming out in the spoil heap. Uh, so for tomorrow, it's going to be a really exciting day to see what else we find. Okay, so it's the end of Saturday. We've had a fantastic day. We have our cobbled surface here. We've got rails running up the side. Um, we've just come down onto this level underneath the cobbles and we have lovely sleeper slots running through. And there's actually a raft of sleepers here. And we have even some wood still preserved within the trench. So it's been a fantastic day. We now think we have three phases of wooden railway through the, through the 18th century, um, and it's more than we could have hoped for. Well, this is our final day on our, our wagonway dig, uh, and we don't have just the one wagonway, we have three wooden wagonways superimposed on the top of each other. Earliest constructed is the 1722 one, which we were looking for and we found, the other two were unexpected. The earliest one, what we seem to have, we're down onto, I'm standing on natural here, this is a natural subsoil. What they seem to have done is laid uh, a parallel series, almost like a corduroy wooden roadway. That's the remains of one timber, one sleeper there, you can just see the end of it there. The other end is here. Uh, we've got the remains of decayed wood just in the bottom. There's another sleeper here, another length of wood. You can see the shape of it. And then there's just hints of another one there. So a corduroy of timber, the whole length from the pits at Trenent to the, the salt pans at Kackenzie. This bit here, if you believe me, that is a bit of the actual rail that survived. It's mineralized wood. So the bark of it on either side has survived, it's solid and the core materials is a lot softer. That's the original 1722 wagonway built by William Dixon. Intriguingly, what they've seemed to have done every so often, as you can see this, this sleeper here continues out under the wall on that side. And we picked it up in a trench here in our previous dig, but didn't realize what it was so that's clearly a long sleeper to stabilize the railway if it was a bit boggy on the on the on the clay ground with the rails the horses we think or the archaeological evidence tells us walked on the timber surface coming up through here that's got a bit rickety and a bit wobbly and what they seem to have done maybe after 20 years or so is completely replace the wagonway this is a smaller gauge one rail one rail there. They then make it a wider gauge and they put a large series of sleeper beams down here 
and sleeper beams down there and in between they fill it with all this large cobbles as a, like a solid foundation. Then they would put the rails on the top of the sleeper beams and then they filled it in with all the small, smaller uh, cobbles and bits of glass slag and industrial waste and things. And that's the, the, the working surface for the horses walking on, pulling the wagons back up. Again, over a period of time, possibly about another 20 years or so, we just we don't know, uh, phase three goes in. This obviously gets a bit rotten and a bit wobbly and they decide we need to replace it again. So by that time, this hard packed small coal surface has built up. So they replace the sleeper beams and the rails on almost identical gauge, same width, same position as the previous one. And they dig in a series of tie sleepers, tie beams, as we've got evidenced with this slot in various places. There's one there, there's one there. These are tying the rails together. So we've left this area in situ. We've taken this surface off on the rest of the trench and we've got the top of the phase two cobbled roadway, cobbled trackway running down that. And we have the mineralized remains of some timber sleepers. Just here, this red stuff here, you can just see is actually mineralized wood. So there's a sleeper coming across here and the rail coming there and that's the junction where they join together. So that is a remarkable survival. So we've got lots of detailed record shots of that. You can see, believe it or not, that's mineralized wood as well. So that's a sleeper coming across there. The outside core of it has mineralized and the middle has just rotten away. And there's another one just appearing with these voids just in there. So three wooden, three wooden wagonways. And then by 1815, they decide these are too rickety. We want to update and they insert the, the iron wagonway. What they do is build this low wall here on this side and a low wall on that side and basically fill this area in probably up to about this level with a clay, clay topping and the iron wagonway sits on top of that with stone sleeper blocks, iron chairs and fish belly rails. All evidence of that is gone. It's all been grubbed up, recycled and taken for scrap in the 1860s or something like that. So a fantastic job for not a lot of time. It's a site of national importance now. You know, the, the original wagonway was, but having this series of superimposed wooden wagonways is just fantastic, it really is. So thank you to all involved.